Let's talk about finding the domain of a function. So whenever you're trying to find the domain, all the domain is asking for is what inputs are you allowed to have? So let's just try a bunch of inputs out. Let's say that we have an input of three. If we plug in three for x, we'll have three squared. Three squared is three times three, which is just nine. Now let's try an input of negative two. Inputting negative two for x will give us a positive four. Now let's plug in, say, the square root of 11. The square root and the square will cancel, so that means we'll just end up with positive 11. The domain refers to our inputs, and notice our inputs can basically be anything. So we can say that the domain is all real numbers. But let's change things up and try a function like this. Let's try plugging in a few inputs. So I'm going to try g of 3. We have 3 over 3 minus 5, which means we'll have negative 3 over 2. Now let's try plugging in a 5. We'll have 3 over 5 minus 5, which is the same thing as 3 over 0. But this is a problem. You cannot divide by 0. This is a fundamental math rule. So this input is not allowed. We cannot plug in a 5 into this function. The domain of this function is x is greater than 5 or x is less than 5. Basically, x cannot equal 5. 